So I'm gonna show you how to use Google Chrome and highlight things on a web page. So I'm like old school. I grew up in the day when there uh, was no web. <laughs> there was no email, there were textbooks. And when we wanted to learn something, we had to get a book. <laughs> and then we had to carry all these books around. And, uh, and part of that was I really got addicted. I really love to read and do highlight. Oh, I like that, I like that. It just keeps me engaged, it keeps me active. And then if I wanna go back and look something up, I'd be like, oh yeah, here are the main points that are highlighted. Well, guess what? You could highlight web pages and the web pages will stay highlighted. Now you're only highlighting the web page you're looking at. You're not highlighting it for everybody. It's only happening on your, your computer. So it's really cool. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video, how to highlight a web page. But there's a couple of things I gotta tell you first. So the first thing I have to tell you is just a little bit of general information about browsers. So a web browser is something which allows you to browse the web. And now the purpose of a web browser is to take a whole bunch of computer code, the code that is sent from websites, and take that code, and which is just text, or binary information and then turn it into a web page so a browser renders the code which is sent from websites and turns it into something which is beautiful and graphically pleasing and you know it's a graphical user interface it allows us to see this information in a graphical way so that's what a web browser does there's different browsers that are out there so Internet Explorer is totally old school that's by Microsoft Microsoft also has a new browser called Edge, and, uh, and then Google has Chrome, and then there's Firefox by Mozilla, and then we also have like Safari, and then there's other browsers too. But by and large, the browser that I recommend is Google Chrome. Why? Because Google's the best. <laughs> Google's got amazing software engineers, and Google Chrome is fantastic. So we're gonna be using Google Chrome in this course, if you don't have Chrome already, I really recommend that you just go Chrome download on whatever browser you do have. You could go to Chrome download, download Chrome, right? So Google Chrome browser, let me do Chrome browser download. And uh, Google Chrome uh, official, right? Let's see what this, one browser, all devices, there we go. There's also Chrome web browser, we'll click that one. Come on, baby, this is the web, let's speed it up. And then I just come here and I choose download and download Chrome. All right, so that's how you get Chrome. Once you have Chrome downloaded and installed, you can, you can install extensions. So Chrome extensions, so we'll just do that. So there's all of these uh, extensions which you could add into the browser to extend its capabilities. So Chrome Web Store extensions, we could go here and we could look at different pieces of functionality, right? Like one of the things that I used one time was uh, Twitter. I was looking for Twitter functionality, right? To help me do Twitter. And so there's all these different Twitter extensions that you could, you know, like TweetDeck and different stuff and Twitter Bolt, right? Like if you want to just mass follow a whole bunch of people in some organization, you could add this extension and say, hey, everybody that's in this group, follow all of them. I really like this group and it automatically follow all of them. And so that's uh, that's something, but we're looking for a highlighter, right? Highlighter, there we go. And so we're looking for a highlighter. And so here are some different highlighters or simple highlighter, deprecated selection highlighter. And the one I like is super simple. I don't know why it didn't come up right there. Super simple highlighter. Simple, simple, super simple highlighter. So maybe it was there. Let me just see that. And I think they changed the logo and I didn't recognize it. It's not there. So we have super simple highlighter. That's kind of funny. Anyhow, what's this say? added super central highlighter so when you get this you just see it's already added to mine but here if it wasn't it'd say add to chrome i'd add it to chrome and then i it it'd automatically be running mine's not running right now so i have to go into settings and i got there by clicking these dots right there go into settings and once i'm inside settings i could go to extensions and i could scroll down and see here's that mass follow for tr twitter i tried that and i can enable it i guess mine is enabled all right sweet it's just not highlight because i don't have anything happening so now when I go to a web page, so let's say I'm reading, you know, some programming documentation. 
And when I get here, right, I'm reading some stuff. Let's just, oh, see, I already have some things highlighted right here. And so that's already highlighted. And so now I could just like select something and then right click it and super simple highlighter and I can say make that yellow, right? And if I don't want that, I could click here and I could choose that yellow one and I can undo it. So that's how super simple highlighter works. It's really a great deal. And uh, for this assignment, if you're in my class, download that, download Chrome, get it installed if you don't already have it installed. Put the super simple highlighter on it, highlight something on a web page and take a picture and upload it for credit. For everybody else, if you haven't checked out the website I'm building, you really gotta take a look. It's super fantastic. It's great, greatercommons.com. Go take a look and uh, you know get involved and help the world and learn something and improve yourself or teach something and help others. It's really for the greater good of everybody, greater commons, greatercommons.com. Go take a look.